first of all, again, uh, I, I'd like to, from the university, uh, our administration, our, our, our hockey team, uh, and the city of Mankato, just want to say thank you for uh, the city of Grand Rapids and the Van Andel Center for being first class hosts. Uh, whether we won, or won tonight or not, uh, that wasn't going to change. They did a great job at uh, making sure that all the student athletes had an unbelievable experience. And so I want to make sure and say thanks to that. Uh, and uh, excited about, as you may see, is uh, this WCHA uh, is a very difficult league to be successful in. Um, and to, to go through what we went through uh, in the regular season, trying to chase Ferris, um, and seeing how tight the league was uh, all the way up until the last weekend. Um, it's just we're, we're very proud uh, as a group um, to be representing uh, the WCHA as far as its champion in the playoffs. So uh, I'm just uh, really happy that things worked out the way they did and the guys that did all the work are, are sitting here to my right. Questions from student athletes or our special guest, the Broadmoor Trophy? <laughs> <laughs> um, this can be for any of you, but I'll maybe start with Brett. To have the guys score that, that scored tonight, um, you, Michael, um, and uh, and Brett, not not a, you know not exactly the top scoring guys. What what does that mean to this team to have you guys be the contributors tonight? Uh, you know those guys are goal line, hunts breaker, game, and Mosey. They're they're energy guys, and they're always wheeling around, and you know they're giving us energy uh, from top to bottom, and it's it's good to see them going for it. How about for you? What on, on your goal there? What was you just trying to get something on net or? Uh, you know, it's a play we can work down. Um, great play by Teddy, uh, pulling up, and um, I gave him a little holler, and he found me, and uh, you know, the puck had eyes. Johnny, from your perspective, what's it like to see these guys step up and, and get goals for you guys tonight? Um, unbelievable. I see every day, day in, day out, how guys like Hunter Brinker, Nolsey, who's um, worked as hard as anybody to. It's obviously frustrating when you don't score sometimes as a hockey player, that's what you want to do. And uh, for Nolsey to get one uh, and me be the first guy over to him and see the emotion on his face, he told me he, he could have started crying. And uh, that just goes to show how uh, the emotion that. You know we play with and how, how how much it means to him and to our family um, for him to score a goal as big as that was. Any other questions for the student athletes? Michael, can you just talk about that emotion and scoring that goal and getting it started? Ah, uh, yeah, it's always uh, nice to contribute to the guys and um, you know John Paul was able to make a great play along the wall and Marquis was uh, able to make a great pass. So uh, I didn't really have to do too much, but it's nice to have guys around you that uh, stay positive and lift you up even when things maybe aren't going the best way. But uh, it's nice that everyone could, could contribute tonight. Johnny, what does this trophy, what does this championship mean to, to you and to, to this program? Um, when I got here, uh, it was pretty much a fantasy map to maybe lift this trophy someday, especially for for uh, you know where the direction of the program was at that time, and it just goes to show the guys in the room um, how far we've come in the last four years, and especially the last two years. Um, I can't say how thankful I am for the guy on our left here um, for coming on board and turning this around. Um, it's been a blessing. He's been a blessing to our university and our community, and it's uh, it, we're starting to get results that we you know we wanted ever since we were little kids and. It, it just goes to show what uh, hard work can do. One last question. Just, um, Brett, when you when you look at the way this game played out, can you just talk about maybe the, the way the third you guys went into the intermission there down, or, you know, after giving up a goal, you know, being up just a goal going into the third and having to kind of fend them off. Oh, uh, you know, we kept it too high, we kept it too low. Um, you know, we had to keep it even keel, and uh, I thought the guys in the back of the locker room, you know, got their game face back and went up. Uh, it was a 0 0 game, and uh, looking to put on the pressure and just stay back. And uh, I think <coughs> we did that, and we ended up getting, you know, a third one, and it, uh, it really lifted the bench, and, you know, we were just getting energy all over the place, and, you know, the fourth one came, and, you know, couldn't be more proud of the guys for staying with it and, you know, not holding back anything. 
Okay, thanks, Sherilyn. Thank Good much. luck next week. Thank you. Thanks. Questions for Coach Casey? Yeah. Surprised that you get goals from Hunter Brinker, Stern, Knowles to I mean in a game of this magnitude? Uh, you know what? They've they've made an impression, as you can tell, on on our leadership group, and and have made an impression on our guys Monday through Thursday that uh, we've drawn energy from these guys. I've tried to talk to them just a little bit about you know sometimes it isn't about who tucks it behind the goal line. It's about who allows us to be in a situation like we were tonight. And those guys have done a tremendous amount of work. So to tell you, people might look at you a little sideways when you have a guy that hasn't scored a goal and you say, are you surprised? You look at some of the goals that Brad has scored. A year ago, he scored a goal uh, against the University of North Dakota in the last game of the year uh, in overtime. Uh, a couple weeks previous to that, uh, we were playing at Minnesota and he scores the goal with about 45 seconds left. Uh, he scores big goals. Um, and I will say this, that line was challenged today. Um, you know, we challenged them from the standpoint of they have been our energy guys and, and to see them be rewarded. It's crazy, this game of hockey, it's, it's amazing. When you put in what you should put in, more often than not, the hockey gods pay it back. And uh, so I'm very proud of those guys and, and their contributions and, and actually being able to be in the limelight a little bit because they've been doing a lot of the heavy lifting for a while. Can you tell us what the Broadway Trophy means to you? Uh, you know what, I, I think that'll come later. Um, uh, just because, you know, uh, I've been a big fan. I'm from Christian, Minnesota. So I grew up in, in watching the University of North Dakota play uh, quite often. And and in such awe of what the WCHA stands for. Um, so you go ahead and you look at the history of the WCHA and, and the leadership that we've, we've had in Bruce and, and the, the contingent that we've had. Um, uh, personally, it means, it means a lot because I know it's history. Uh, I lived it, I was in the Engelstead Arena, uh, had an opportunity to watch a lot of the WCHA um, unfold over the years. And so for our university, you know, it's, it's a good thing for a couple of reasons. One, uh, you always, the people that trust you, you always want to make sure you pay back. And Richard Davenport, Kevin Beisman, Rick Strzok, and the university gave myself an opportunity. Um, and the staff that I have and the guys that we have, uh, the community has embraced us uh, tremendously. We, we had some retros done to the facility. We put about $2 million or $2 million put into the rink this last year and you know what we uh, because of that and the guys that we've had and the support we have made it a pretty difficult place to play i think we we're 16 one and one in that building so everybody's kind of grabbed a piece of the rope <coughs> and pulled and the support's been there and so um you know just just reminiscing over the last what 30 minutes um i don't think i i can answer that to its fullest but very respectful very happy very appreciative for the opportunity and the, and the work that the guys do because they, they're, um, as Johnny says, they put a lot of work into this. We didn't have Cole up here, but you know he's a most outstanding player. Can you just talk about your goaltender, what he, what he did this weekend? Go and check any level, whether it's high school hockey, midget hockey, junior hockey, college hockey, the National Hockey League. Uh, you cannot get it done without outstanding goaltending. And you look at the push they made. You know we get up to nothing, but uh, they're a championship caliber team, and they put a push on. Cole made some saves that he shouldn't have. Uh, and you, you need that. Um, that's just, I think that's part of the process when you talk about uh, championship or winning hockey. That it, it all starts there and ends there. Um, and then you've got to have some support. We had some guys supporting the 